large farm. Sylvia knows her husband will go anywhere, anytime to sell a policy. So when this Mr. Connors calls and says he's looking for life insurance, Billy jumps at the opportunity. He agrees to meet his prospective client on his new property in a desolate wooded area. That's where Taylor and Baisden are waiting. Mr. Taylor stepped over to the edge of the road behind the car and said he had to relieve himself. As he stepped over to relieve himself, that was a signal. Mr. Baisden then came out with a single shot shotgun. The first shot knocks Billy down, but doesn't kill him. Baisden shows no mercy and finishes the job. Ernest Baisden and Linwood Taylor, they, they knew exactly what they were doing. One knew he couldn't do it, and the other had no problem with it. He shot him down like a dog. Per Sylvia's instructions, the two hitmen are to pick Billy clean, making it look like a robbery gone bad. All the while, the mastermind goes about her nightly routine without a scintilla of regret. The following morning, mustering her best acting skills, Sylvia calls police to report Billy missing, sparking a huge search and rescue mission. They had air searches and everything, trying to locate the body. Finally, they spotted it, and that's when I got my call. Uh, looked around the crime scene. It was pretty much sanitized. The only thing uh, that we found were tire impressions. Billy's children break the news to Sylvia. And all of us, she thrown on a boo-hoo and act. Just, oh my God, oh my God, I can't believe it. She was playing the widow part to the hill. But when Sylvia's story about the fictional Tim Connors fails to pan out, investigators turn their sights on her. We started to get the feeling that maybe we need to go a little further with Mrs. White, because all of the information uh, surrounding his death came from Miss White. A reward is posted, and tips start pouring in. One in particular captures detectives' interest. This anonymous person was talking about uh, Mr. Taylor. Mr. Taylor had asked several people what they thought about an individual that had offered him money to dispose of her husband. He had queried several people uh, about performing this deed for him. Officers haul Linwood Taylor in. Hours later, he confesses and rats out Sylvia White. On February 13th, Sylvia is taken into custody for the murder of her third husband, Billy White. I was totally blindsided. I had no clue that it was her or she had anything to do with it, anything. But Sylvia's trouble doesn't end with her husband's murder. There was scuttlebutt going around the town that, what about that little boy that died 20 years ago? One of the nurses never forgot that. She just thought there's no way a child could accidentally swallow a piece of plastic this size. Linwood Taylor has something to say about that untimely death as well. He claims that Sylvia told him all about how she choked little Billy to death. The child's body is exhumed for an autopsy, and what was once considered an accident is now ruled a murder. I think to this day, if she had stayed her ass down the street and not came into our lives. Billy be alive, my dad be alive. Sylvia is charged with the murders of Billy White and his son. She receives two life sentences. The death of her second husband, Leslie Ipock, remains listed as a suicide. James Linwood Taylor is sentenced to life. And Ernest Baisden, even though he turns himself in, is executed on December 6th, 2002. There's no happy ending here. The trail of destruction Sylvia White left behind is tragic beyond words. Her greed was insatiable. Her arrogance, a perfect example of pride gone mad. If there's any justice, it's that this selfish, greedy witch ends up exactly where she deserves to be. A lot of people would say you could look into her eyes and there was no soul. 
Cinderella thought she had a bad stepmom. Cinderella didn't have nothing on her. I hope Sylvia White dies in prison and rots and goes to hell. That's how I feel about it. When she was tired of you, her way of control was to kill you and remove you from her life. She was a evil, wicked, wicked woman. That's what happens when sins turn deadly.